What's up YouTube? This is Chris, Music City Driver at musiccitydriver.com. Wanted to make a quick video for you. Um, I know I've been promoting Maestro quite a bit recently because I think it really is worth the subscription fee for a, either a um, monthly or an annual subscription. I, th I really do think it's worth the cost and it is tax deductible. But I wanted to just bring to you just a quick way to um, I guess you can kind of emulate Maestro, although it's it's hard to do all the things that Maestro does. So, as I mentioned before, all the different platforms are covered, and you can uh, customize which things you want filtered filtered out, basically. Um, but if you're like me, you drive an XL, it's really not worth it for you to drive a bunch of X rides most of the time. Um, I have actually, I mean, there's a lot of drivers out there that have, have Excel only, Excel and select only um, accounts and stuff like that. So it makes it much easier for them to not even worry about X trips because they don't get them, period. Um, but <clears throat> if you're not worried about your acceptance ratings, um, the thing that I do to for Excel trips and select trips is I basically just don't take the X rides. Um, it does impact your impact or your or your acceptance rating rather but all that can happen there is you get a nasty gram from uber saying you know if you're online accept your trips but from what i understand from the ruling from a uh, class action lawsuit um that considers uber partners not employees they can't force you to take every single ride that comes through so they can't deactivate you simply for acceptance ratings now if you have a low rating, a high cancellation rate, and a low acceptance rate, then they could possibly, you know, claim it was for something else. If you had some bad reviews, some bad ratings, had some complaints against you, um, stuff like that, then you may want to be more careful. But generally speaking, um, a low acceptance rating is not going to get you deactivated. Um, so you can filter it yourself just by simply not accepting X rides, not accepting VIP rides, um, etc. So, um, also, you know, if you just don't accept the ones that are over 10 minutes away or over five minutes away or whatever way you want to do it. The advantage to Maestro, in my opinion, is that while it's still doing the same thing that you, that I just mentioned, um, just ignoring certain types of rides that come through, what it also does for you is it allows you to not have to worry about accepting the ride first of all because it will accept it automatically um, if it's within the criteria that you set on the filters and then second of all it shuts the other app down so you don't have that app going off in the background of a Lyft or Uber either way um, while you're on one of those rides if you forget to do it so um, in, in my opinion it's a no-brainer but um, like I said, don't worry about acceptance ratings that much. Seriously, there's much more things to worry about than acceptance ratings um, with Uber <clears throat> and Lyft. Lyft does the same thing with acceptance ratings. If you dip down low, um, then they'll basically send you another little nasty gram saying, hey, it improves the service if you accept every ride, there, blah, 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 you know. Basically saying that, you know, if you're online, you need to be accepting trips. And of course, Uber has their little timeout feature. Lyft does not have the little timeout. So you can let as many pings go by as you want to on Lyft and it won't affect you know your ability to use the app so anyway just wanted to run that by you guys um you know if you've ever thought of that before you probably have it's not that difficult to figure out so basically you can just filter filter your own stuff out by not accepting certain trips not accepting certain people with certain ratings not accepting um certain distances away not accepting certain platforms or services so i mean it's pretty much a no-brainer that you can do that so Anyway, um, if you guys uh, have used Maestro before, or if you have not used Maestro before and you do the method that I mentioned, um, let me know below in the comments. And thank you guys for watching this uh, video. If you guys are getting out this weekend to drive, I'm just about to start myself. It's about 5, 540 or so here in Nashville. Just about to head out and start probably picking up a lot of bachelorette parties and bachelor parties and and other such um, people heading out to the bars and heading out to the restaurants to eat and, and heading downtown. So you guys be safe out there, be careful and drive safe.